Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations on choosing Dame Edna the Royal Tour for your first experience of live theatre. For your comfort, here are a few live theatre guidelines. You will notice that you have not been provided with a television remote control. Do not panic. The people you will see on the stage are alive. If Dame Edna speaks to you, please answer her. She can see you and hear you. Unlike your home situation, you are surrounded by strangers. Don't be alarmed. They are called the audience. Dame Edna always attracts a nice type of person, although other shows may not. If you catch the eye of one of these strangers, only the briefest of smiles is necessary. Do not feel obliged to withhold loud laughter and applause throughout the show. You will not drown out the actor's words, for they are alive. Actors always pause and repeat themselves. Above all, to fully enjoy the show, you must remember to face the stage on which actors and actresses are sometimes obliged to perform when they cannot obtain work on television. You will know the performance is at an end when the curtain falls, the music stops and the cleaners enter. Good luck tonight as you experience Dame Edna. Let us hope we can achieve simultaneous laughter. Now try clapping. I would like to introduce to you a very close friend of mine, Mrs. Norm Everidge, a housewife from 36 Humoresque Street, Mooney Ponds. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Norm Everidge. Excuse I. <laughs> and now, Miss, where is she? Mrs. Edna Everidge. Gladys, Australia's national flower, aren't they good? <laughs> Hello, David. How, what how, a wonderful privilege. How very nice. Be to, on your show. How very nice to have you with us. Isn't he gorgeous? <laughs> People ask me why I'm a whirlpool buff. Oh, hello, possums. Here am I shopping at Fudgeon. And what is your favourite housewife superstar? Popping into her trolley, I hear you cry. I'm sorry. I have written a book, Miss Swanson, called Living with a Prostate Problem, and I think I'm one of the few women who have. I think it's... That's all I'm prepared to say. <laughs> Miss Swanson doesn't like the permissive side of this show. You know, sensitivity, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Sad news, I'm afraid. We've just had confirmed reports that one of Australia's most famous men has died. Mr. Norman Everidge, husband of the world-famous actress Dame Edna Everidge, passed away peacefully in London just about an hour ago. How are you feeling, Dame Edna? What a stupid question. Are you going to be doing your show tonight? Certainly not. I've cancelled all engagements. Can't you see I'm grief-stricken? What about all those people who book? I don't want to have to use my mind as Susan, but on this occasion, in their voice... Oh. I've come a long Thank way you. since those days, haven't I, darling? Oh, puzzle! I have no boobs. You must 
you yeah. worry about them, darling? Yeah, but I'm scared they're going to shrink. Have you thought of washing them by hand, Jane? <laughs> Thing you wish you hadn't eaten? <laughs> we are people. We have our own integrity, and you're not a sex symbol to me, darling. In fact, you actually are a bit of a turn off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that in a very nice way. <laughs> I do, because you bring out the maternal instinct in me. You know, when I see you in some of those films, you're either wearing a military uniform or in your little birthday suit. <laughs> I see your little bits jiggling around. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when I see that, do you know what my fingers are doing, Miss Bacall? <laughs> Reaching for the talcum powder. <laughs> because I want to give him a little dusting. <laughs> in the first Bond film, a scene when you were slumbering in your birthday suit and a ghastly old creepy crawly scuttling across you. Remember that spider scene? Terrifying admission, dear Edna, but in actual fact, it was a stuntman. <laughs> Get into that spider costume. <laughs> you're huge, aren't you? <laughs> you are huge. Well, not at the moment. Just, uh, yeah, but you are professionally huge, and your lethal weapon. <laughs> <laughs> When you're part of the Red Sea. Now, a lot of people must have asked this, but... <laughs> you're looking at my Red Sea now. <laughs> you won't be parting that possibly. Dame Edna is sort of a cross between Don Rickles and Margaret Thatcher. I'd like to marry an American. Really? I'd like to... I think I'm ready to remarry. Someone... Not too young. Someone who's had some experience of life. Somebody who's been around the block a couple of times. Been around well. the block a couple mm. of times. Someone in a nice red striped tie with a pale blue shirt. And their old bar mitzvah suit. Mm. I could be looking at him, Bob. I'm sure I'm looking at him. Fun lifestyles of the rich and famous. We're looking at the home of the most famous femme fatale here in Filmland. None other than the distinguished diva from Down Under herself, Dame Edna Everidge. The woman who once said her interior decorator and her gynecologist were one and the same person. Time for my technology. Or is it a home? A real home? And away with a friendly farewell. It's been a fairy tale story, Possums. Off on her journey, blessed by the best. High in the sky with a salute from the bold. I little thought my career would span from rock and roll to... Hello, Possums. Edna's my name. I'm a megastar. I'm a famous dame. I'm raunchy and rich. I'm a friend of the stars and of lots of houses and big long cars. Tonight I'm inviting all of you to a hot love nest in Malibu. So while I'm singing this slamming rhyme, look at the clock. <laughs> it's Edna time. Put up the stove, put out the cat. Come to Edna, couch potatoes, rub in and chew the fat. We can probe them, we can drill them, we can heat them up or chill them.